Welcome to the 13 inch MacBook Pro Retina Take Apart Guide. To open the machine, you will need to remove the 10 penelope screws from the bottom pan. and then firmly lift up on the bottom pan to remove it. First you will need to unplug the battery. Next remove the SSD card by removing the Torx 5 screw. And then lift the SSD card up and pull it out. Use your nylon spudger tool to unplug the Wi-Fi antennas from the airport card. And then unscrew the Torx 5 screw from the airport card and slide it up and out. Now remove the Torx 5 screws from the IO flex cable mounts. Then remove the mounts and unplug the IO flex cable from the logic board and also the IO board. Now use your spudger tool to separate the eyesight cable from the fan assembly. And then gently unplug the eyesight cable from the logic board. Next, remove the rubber screw covers from the heatsink. And remove the four Torx 5 screws from the heatsink. and then remove the Phillips screw from the heat sink close to the fan. And now you can remove the heat sink. Now remove the three Torx 5 screws from the fan assembly. Use your spudger tool to unplug the fan cable from the logic board and then remove the fan. Now use your spudger tool to unplug all the remaining cables from the logic board.
Now remove the Torx 5 screws from the logic board. Now you can remove the logic board. Now remove the two Torx 5 screws from the MagSafe board and take the MagSafe board out. Now remove the Torx 8 screw and the Torx 5 screw from the I.O. board. and then lift the I.O. board up and out. Remove the Torx 5 screws from the right speaker assembly. Gently separate the speaker cable from the casing and remove the speaker assembly. Now remove the Torx 5 screws from the left speaker assembly. And then take the speaker assembly out. Now remove the two rubber pieces covering the hinge screws. Remove the Torx 5 screws from the hinge caps and take the caps out. Next, open the machine and hang the display off the edge of your desk. Now remove the three Torx 8 screws from each hinge. And then finally you can remove the display.